You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a familiar Brockton face. I have Gwen Knowles. Hi, Gwen. How are you? Hi, good, good. Always a pleasure. So we are talking Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Yes. And <laughs> you folks are doing a ladies' night coming up in May. Yes. Tell me about it. Sure. Um, it's Ladies' Night at Home Depot. This is actually the 10th anniversary of this event. Um, we do do-it-yourself projects over at Home Depot, and we've partnered with the Home Depot over on Crescent Street mm -hmm. in Brockton, and they've been really uh, great. Um, and we do activities, we have refreshments, we have uh, giveaways. It's just really a fun um, activity. And what we do, too, we do a three-month check-in afterwards. Um, everyone signs in through their email. So if there are people that are going to do projects, uh, we do a three-month check-in with them afterwards just oh. to encourage, see how it's going, whether it's a success or not very successful. We just like to check in. Open to everybody? It is. It's open to the community. Okay. It definitely is. Let me tell you something. My wife can swing a hammer a heck of a lot better than I can. <laughs> when, I, when, when I met her and when you know, we got together, she has a toolkit sitting in the house. My toolkit, I don't think, has ever come out of the wrapping paper because I, I inherited the same skills that my father had. My <laughs> father could speak. My father could teach. Forget about it. He once put up shelf brackets all upside down and all the shelves collapsed. But Terry's pretty good with a hammer and a, and a set of nails. And, and those are life skills. I mean, um, it, it costs a lot of money to hire does. a contractor or a professional. Of course, we have our wonderful students over at Southeastern Regional right. that can yes. do all that stuff. Definitely. But we could learn a lesson or two from that. Yeah, it is. And, and especially if it's, if it's just little things. Um, the tiling project in the past has been something that was um, very successful. And that is another one that we're going to be doing on that Thursday. We're also going to be, uh, be doing smart technology mm -hmm. um, as technology has advanced and um, it has seeped into our homes as well. So um, they want to just show um, a lot of the smart technology. And also our MC for that evening is going to be um, DJ uh, T. Clark, who is from um, the new 97.7. Ah, okay. There you go. And we're also going to have a couple of extra um, surprises okay, as we won't well. Give it, we won't give it all away. <laughs> so like the smart technology, you mean maybe like the Nest, um, you know, thermostat that you would have in your house. Right. Okay, and how does that how does that all work? I was watching a commercial. You know those two property brothers that are on TV? <laughs> yes. They were doing an ADT commercial the other day, and it can turn the, you can open the door with the locks, and you can you know, raise the shades and there's right. so much, I mean, homes are becoming smart homes like refrigerators and right. appliances now that talk and, to um, you. It and is. And even with the um, technology, as far as with um, securing your home with the cameras yeah. and being able to um, see even that um, doorbell one that allows you to be able to, if you're not there, to, to make it seem like you're there. Right. So it's just a, just a, again, um, as, technology has advanced, how we can just incorporate that into our homes and just into our daily lives. The, the tile part is interesting to me because I watched when I am in the house that I am and we replaced the like the old vinyl tiles that mm -hmm. we had with ceramic tiles, just the whole way that those all went in and there was like a grid and, yes. and the guy smoothed the whatever it was. <laughs> the grout. The grout. Yes. And, it's a whole science to picking the grout. So if you're, if you're getting something that you don't want to keep changing and replacing, <laughs> you got to get a certain color. And then how the, we took a set of stairs, we did hardwood floors in the house, but the stairs were the old crappy stairs that were there, so we <laughs> rebuilt the stairs, but we couldn't use the, 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 the wood laminate, and I watched the skilled craftsmen do that, yes. and then we bought a wrought iron thing and put it around the stairs because it was wooden rail, and I had I had birds in the house at one point, and they chewed they chewed up the whole wow. set of stairs, so I watched the guy, and they flattened the um, the stuff that was on the wrought iron, and now it's now it's totally solid. We, we literally redid the whole house. We did. Well, we, hopefully we'll, we'll, we can get to that point. <laughs> Right now, just the I do watch, it home. I, I mean, I watch our students at Southeastern and <laughs> right. what they, how they can make cabin, cabinetry, um, guitars that they make and woodworking, right. and then you get you you got to coordinate the plumbers and the electricians and the 
you know, well, yeah, well, well, when they do the the um over in the maker space when they were making the tiny house, that was um an opportunity for the students to all be coordinated um, with their different shops for kind of coming together around that. But what we're looking to do with the activity, some of the tiling is um, like doing backsplashes. Right. And those, and um, that's that's very popular. We've had beautification projects in the past. We've also had electrical projects as well. Again, anything that can help save a couple of dollars for yourself in the, in you know, that you can do, but also too, if you have someone come in that you're educating yourself right. as well, so that if they're coming in and saying X, Y, Z, you can kind of remember, hey, when I was at Home Depot, he said that he didn't say this, so that you can come, you know, kind of draw on those skills as well. Customer. You have to be an educated consumer. You have to be, and as a homeowner, it's like it. There's no way around that. You have to be. So when I was when I had Shana on the show, we were talking about a whole week mm -hmm. in May, May week, the fourth through the eleventh. So this is one of the yes. activities that's happening. Yes, and it's that. and it's highlighted now because, like I said, it is the tenth anniversary of it. We've been going ten years strong yeah. with it. In the past, some of our um, one of our MCs um, two years ago had been newbie. Yeah, newbie had yeah. been our MC, and um, it's just it's just a nice fun. Uh, evening for the ladies just to kind of come together um, through food, fellowship, and fun, and learning new things with the do-it-yourself projects. So you've been involved in the sorority for a while. Yes, yes, yes. Ten, you, ten years, you actually. Might, you must enjoy it. <laughs> yes, I had my 10-year anniversary, and I do. I enjoy it um, very much. Again, it's uh, the whole um, scholarship, sisterhood, and service, um, and also for that evening, I would like to, and speaking of service, that um, Laverne Gordon's um, okay. Love Life Now Foundation, we will be accepting donations for her, and she has specific donation items for her brown bag donation. Okay. So it's chapstick and uh, travel size lotion. Oh, nice. Yep, so, sure, so we're gonna be um, supporting her. Um, most of the activities that we try and do, we try and have some service component with it, um, because again, um, service is one of our um, standards and kind of uh, something that we stand on. So Laverne's mm -hmm. a frequent flyer over here. We promote all of her stuff. I love <laughs> yes. her walkathon, which is oh in yeah, heels. the heelathon, the heelathon. Okay, there were yeah. men last year yes. when I went over and recorded in heels. Yes, so, no heels have. No, look at if you can stand up in them and walk in them, do it. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So just to recap here briefly on um, Thursday, the 9th of May. Yes. Ladies' night for the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated over at Home Depot on Crescent Street. Yep, 715 Crescent Street, and it's from 7 to 9 p.m. 7 to 9 p.m. Well, thank you for coming on to promote it, and uh, we're going to try to find a way to send a camera over there that day. Oh, that'll okay? be wonderful. Thanks, thank Gwen. you very Always much. I pleasure. appreciate Always it. Always a pleasure. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.